Have a nice day students. I hope you all are being great. Class 4, Subject English. I am back with a new unit. Now come to the unit number 2, page number 7. First we shall know about the characters of this story then reading first is chicky the little chick dona the duck bobo the naughty rabbit master lion father tortoise pop the parrot fluffy the bear jojo the giraffe now come to the page number 7 We are going to reading. Hold your finger on line number one and listen carefully. Chicky, the little chick, had won the baby animals race. So the animals of the jungle decided to throw a party to celebrate Chicky's victory. They were all making preparations. Dona, the duck, was busy baking a batch of blueberry muffins in her kitchen. She put the baking tray in the oven and bustled out. It will be ready in 10 minutes, she said to herself. Bobo, the naughty rabbit, was playing with his friends when he smelled the aroma of muffins coming out of Dona's kitchen. He rushed to the kitchen to see what was baking. Dona saw him coming, so she ran quickly to close the door. but he was already in what do you want asked dona i just wanted to check whether the muffins were baked or not replied bobo they will be ready in 10 minutes you better stay outside want dona meanwhile his two other friends also came in they started jumping all over the place they messed up all the things on the shelves and threw bread crumbs on the floor hey you naughty rabbits why are you doing all that i'll complain to master loin said dona angrily bobo and his friends ran away laughing bobo was in a mischievous mood so he planned to spoil the party he went to the hall where all the animals were decorating things bobo first broke the net lid on the wooden blocks he then rushed the stage and smashed the speakers he also mocked father tortoise by calling him lazy he was very happy in doing all that pop the parrot and fluffy the bear were observing all that they went to master loin and told him everything master loin flew into a rage he called an urgent meeting inviting all the animals except bobo it was decided at the meeting to teach bobo a lesson in the evening when bobo was returning home his foot suddenly got trapped in a snare before he could understanding what happened He found himself hanging on a tree upside down. He screamed for help, but all other animals kept watching him from behind a tree. After a few minutes they came out. Jojo the giraffe laid him down on the ground. He was unconscious. When he came round he saw some bread slices hanging over him. Master Lion ordered him to hop and eat the slices. He hopped and hopped and hopped each time he hopped the slices would get higher and higher he was tired and feeling ashamed and embarrassed there were tears in his eyes master loin roared and said whoever will tease other animals i will punish him badly and throw him out of the jungle it is very bad to make fun of others and be rude to your elders i hope you have all understood well bobo won't stay with us anymore bobo was crying and seeking forgiveness he promised everyone to be a good rabbit forever he also excused father tortoise for his behavior dona and other animals played it with master loin to forgive bobo master loin was kind enough to give bobo one more chance to stay in the jungle the next day he helped dona to make muffins and others in decorating the party hall all animals celebrated chicky's victory with great fun and pleasure
Now come to the new words. Listen carefully and pronounce with me. Number one is aroma, meaning a pleasant, noticeable smell. Number two is mess up, meaning to spoil something. Number three is hop, meaning to move by jumping on one foot. Forgiveness, meaning the act of forgiving somebody. Number five, batch, meaning a group or set. Number six, muffins, meaning a sweet, quick bread baked in a cup-shaped pan. Number seven, bustled, meaning hurry, move or cause to move busily. Number eight, rushed, meaning done under pressure. Number nine, mischievous, meaning badly behavior. Number ten, laid. A set down according to plan. Vocabulary focus. Words, meanings with sentences. Number one is smash, meaning hit hard. Sentence: He smashed the vase with a hammer. Number two is urgent, meaning compelling, immediate action. Sentence: Neha called urgent. to fire brigade number 3 is trapped meaning to catch or tag in sentence man food suddenly got trapped in a net number 4 is unconscious meaning senseless sentence he was unconscious by a fall number 5 is roared meaning the sound made by a lion sentence line roared on animals number 6 is pleaded meaning appeal or request earnestly sentence man pleaded for murder in court number 7 is mocked meaning unreal sentence we should not mock of others now last one is preparation meaning the act of preparing or getting ready sentence students to the preparation for exams this is your assignment after completed submit it at school i hope you enjoyed this story and understood if you have any queries about it any confusion about it so you can ask in comment section